All right, welcome. Uh, so what are we talking about? Recently published in New England Journal of Medicine, uh, Renin Angiotensin System Inhibition in Advanced Chronic Kidney Disease. What is the bottom line for this study? The bottom line is that among patients with advanced and progressive CKD, we're talking GFR less than 30, stopping a RAS inhibitor was not associated with a significant between group difference in long-term rate of decrease in EGFR. So to me, it sort of suggests like we probably shouldn't be stopping ACE inhibitors when a patient's GFR falls below 30. In terms of the methods, the included patients were adults with chronic kidney disease. Um, the intervention was to stop uh, one of these RAS blockade drugs, like an ACE inhibitor uh, or an ARB. Uh, the comparator was continuation uh, of the drug. The outcome was the EGFR, okay? So this is the patient's glomerular filtration rate, uh, which is an indicator of their um, renal function, of course. And they assessed this over a timeline of three years. Uh, this was a randomized trial. It was multi-centered. It was not blinded. Uh, patients knew um, if, of course, they were stopping a drug or continuing it. It was not placebo-controlled. Uh, they did pursue an intention to treat, and this was not funded by industry. And I guess you could argue whether or not GFR is all that relevant of an outcome. I put yes, but you could probably argue maybe not. Uh, and they had less than 5% loss to follow up. So the included patients, there were 1,200 who were eligible, uh, 400 a some odd who were randomized, um, average age of 63, 68% men, 33% had diabetes, 22% had glomerular um, nephritis of some form in the past, or currently, I guess, um, renal function. So 70% uh, had a GFR between 15 to 30. Um, and there was similar adherence at year three to the arms to which the patients were randomized to, which is important. What was the primary outcome? As you can see from this figure with the glomerular filtration rate on the y-axis and time on the x-axis, whether or not you continued or you stopped an ACE inhibitor, there was really no difference um, in their GFR over time. Some important secondary outcomes, um, so end-stage renal uh, disease or renal replacement um, occurred uh, less often if you continued the ACE inhibitor, um, albeit with wide confidence intervals, and there was a similar rate of adverse events between the two arms. The big limitations here, it was an unblinded study, which of course can introduce bias. Uh, it was relatively small and it was focused in the UK. So who knows how well it'll generalize to other settings. Again, a pretty impressive practice changing article, uh, certainly for me, for my patients who have um, a GFR less than 30. Um, based on this study, I will certainly be continuing their ACE inhibitor or ARB. That's it, I hope you like this. Uh, like it, hate it, whatever. Um, leave some comments and let me know what I should do differently uh, next time. Thanks.